All right, we're back here. So we had a lot of technical difficulty tonight. I reset the internet. I don't know if it's because I'm in Augusta. Are you fro are you frozen though? No, you're not frozen, right? No. In the winter time, you'd be frozen, right? Really? So, how shocked are you about Cumberland Farms? By the way, what about Cumberland Farms? How shocked are you that? The same company gas stations down here. That's crazy. That that's really crazy. And Paul and Springs, usually, you know, like Vinny doesn't know what really Paul and Springs is, but um and another thing, I, um, I was I was working at downtown Augusta today and I ran into another DJ. Now, what's really crazy is our friends Ramiro. Pebbles, Melissa, and Leroy, is it? Uh, I, yeah, I think, yeah, I think Leroy. The, the Get Up Crew. They're on another station here in Augusta, which, of course, that comes out during my morning show, okay? So I compete with them up in Boston and here in Augusta now. So I ran. I, I I was I went. I was in a bar and I ran into this DJ, who's on the station, in the afternoon. He's manager of this bar. Okay, I'm not gonna mention his name. If you if you turn on to the station, you know, I, I don't want to promote the station too much right now. But I'll, I'll give a shout out to Romero and Pebbles because they're friends of the Derek Shapiro show, right, Dylan? Yeah, I guess so. so I, I, at the work for hunger, I, I told him that. He said he knew who they were. I said, wait. So they're syndicated because it's, it's Beasley Media, okay? <clears throat> nice guy, nice guy. But he don't want me to interview him yet, so maybe he'll reach out to me. He has my phone number. I don't have his, I don't have his number. He's not on Facebook, but he's a nice guy. I shook his hand. River met him afterwards. So he's, he's at this bar in Augusta. So I, I, I know where he is. So he's on the, he's on the air from 2 to 6. He's at the bar at 2 p.m. So I, I, I told River, I says, River, put, what happened to the radio station on? Literally, he's on the air. So, of course, when this show goes on, I don't know what I'll be doing. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's a lot of times I've worked at Walmart. I've worked at A and B, C company. You know what I'm saying? Maybe Amazon. Maybe... Doing DoorDash, you know, I do DoorDash on the side too. I like to do make extra income, you know what I'm saying? So, are you surprised that a lot of these DJs are not there at the studio when they're doing the show? I mean, um, the thing is, it's like more doable now, like with all the technology. So, to a point, I, w I wouldn't, I would say no. To, I would say to a point, no sense. You, there's all this technology, like, like music, like music artists, for example. There, there's some of them. They they don't even like go to a studio. They could just record it at home, and it's like it's like right. a legit thing called bedroom pop, and that's like the whole premise of it, like recording. I, I think Billy Eilish does that, right? What? Billy Eilish does it, right? A uh, bedroom pop. I don't know if she – I wouldn't be surprised if she did at some point, but, yeah. I think because it was her and her brother record together. I I, I think they – she does it from his, her house, if I believe. But but so 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 the thing is, I mean, especially during the pandemic, I mean, every DJ was at home, you know what I'm saying? I mean, yeah. I did it at home because I do a podcast. And so, so I mean, I mean, I don't have any fancy hookups with microphones like other people do, but, but the thing is – Oh, we were left on a cliffhanger. He's about to say what it was. The thing is what? Oh, we, we got left on a cliffhanger. Now we got to wait. We got to wait like a minute or two. We'll see. We got to wait, man. He might have to do it. He might have to do it on his phone in the in his car or something like that for the next show. 
That's what you might have to do. Because his Wi-Fi is... His, his Wi-Fi is choking on him right now. So he... He might have to do some other setting. With the microphone, as I was saying that, right? I don't know what happened. It says I wasn't connected, but it wasn't an internet issue for some reason. Wasn't an internet issue. So yeah, so so yeah, so what are they saying now? Oh, uh, we're you. You were taught. We were talking about like the pit. You were talking about the pandemic. Yeah. So yeah, like, like during the pandemic. I mean, I mean, everybody, you know, recorded. I was recorded at home, and 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 the thing is, I mean, I think it's very cool that like I could be out there doing, you know, like a lot of times I recorded my morning show, and I was taking my kids to school. You know what I'm saying? You, you know, you, you know, I've been doing the recording for a long time. You know what I'm saying? And I think it's cool. Like, oh yeah, so one time I interviewed this DJ in Rhode Island. He was like, you ever have David Allen Boucher that was on Magic in Boston? I feel like I've probably heard the name before, but I'm not too familiar. So my friend Art Spencer used to be be in the Rhode Island market doing like the, the nighttime show. You know, he, he has a nice soothing voice. So I interviewed him and I, I was living in Atlanta. I went up to um, Providence. I interviewed Art Spencer. When he was on my show live, his show was taped. He was on, he was on his show literally – his voice is on his show, and he was on my show. Is that unbelievable? Yeah, that's something. So, like, morning shows are usually there, but you can't even count all these morning shows there all the time because I'd be calling these shows, you know? How many percentage of the morning shows do you think are there live? What, like a radio? Um... Like, do you think Romero and Pebbles are there alive all the time? Do you think Billy and Lisa are there alive all the time? Other morning shows. I think those people are alive. Other people, I don't know. Maybe not like you know, you because, know. because give props to the, to Maddie Maddie who used to be a Maddie in the morning. Matt, because of course I I own Kiss One Away. You know what I'm saying? Because I own I Heart Radio. But the thing is, Maddie even said that one time he could. They, they have the technology where they can. Do the show like do the things in between the commercials? They can get the whole show done within about two hour, two and a half hours, you know, and then they can put it in the system. Isn't that amazing? Yeah, that is something. You know, like when I'm on the franchise show, um, 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 up in Rhode Island, he records the first part, and then he plays it, so you get to hear it. You know what I'm saying? So even those stations, you know what I'm saying? They record and you know. Is that amazing? Yeah, it really shows Dylan, you the technology. Yep. T too bad our former station wasn't like that in Salem, huh? Oh, that would have been great. I know. But um, anyway, I want to thank you for joining us today. Thank you, Vinny, for joining us in the beginning of the show. Thank you to River. Dylan, we had a great show. We had Hulk Hogan on the show. We had... um um um. James, um, what's his name? I can't think of it now. Um, James on the show, the actor James. <laughs> um, thank you very much for being part of the show tonight. And is it a, uh, do you miss me up there? Yeah, it's going to be weird. It's going to be weird not you having you in the New England area. Uh, I want to I want to come from May May for the work for hunger to see uh, Romero and Pebbles, you know. Oh no, Melissa. Oh no 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 no! Don't do don't act on your intrusive thoughts. Yeah. All right. Um, thank you much for joining us, Dylan. Thank you. You take it easy, all right? All right. Okay. Bye. All right. Bye. Episode monthly show. Thank you much for joining us.